After setting up your inventory, let's look into configuring your demand next. In SPX, demand is trafficked via line items, where you can configure targeting, block listing, floor prices, and more. As mentioned in our previous video, the Smato default exchange line item always has you covered. It delivers Smato's full demand stack to your inventory, fully automated and optimized. While the default line item is a hassle-free solution, some publishers may want or need to configure a custom setup to diversify or tailor their demand. Let's go back to our example of an iOS app developer that now has two apps with a total of three ad spaces integrated. Let's assume that you've decided on two things for your news app. Give RTB demand a first look at its traffic and sell US traffic at a higher price point than traffic from the rest of the world. First, let's create a US only line item by selecting new line item. Let's set the priority to 10, minimum CPM to 50 cents, and deactivate Smato ad network demand. In the targeting section, we've got to include our news app. And under Geo, select United States of America. Now let's save that and create a second rest of world line item. Let's set the priority to 10 again, the minimum CPM to 30 cents, and then check Smato at network demand. Under targeting, we've got to select the news app again, toggle exclude, and select United States of America. Now let's assume that we've got a news app competitor called Hot News that heavily invests in advertising. Since we probably don't want their ads showing on any of our inventory, let's globally block that advertiser by selecting Edit Settings in the Smato Exchange Summary. Let's enter the advertiser's domain and add it to the block list. When we've saved that, any bid responses with that advertiser domain will be blocked. Please note though, block listing only applies to the RTB exchange, not to ad network mediation. A few more comments on minimum CPM settings. Since SPX provides several means of auto-optimization for your inventory, the eCPM should eventually be somewhat higher than the entered minimum CPM. However, this logic doesn't work infinitely you may try to oversell your inventory, which will result in a very low fill rate. In order to avoid that, we recommend rather using a lower minimum CPM as a starting point and exercising caution in raising it. Also, the minimum CPM setting only applies to the RTB exchange. If you absolutely do not want your inventory to be sold at a lower price than the minimum CPM, please uncheck ad network demand for that specific line item. For more information on using SPX, head over to wiki.smato.com.